What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with a very quick rant review for this new project from Young Thug called Slime Language. Now Young Thug doesn't need much of an introduction. We already know how screechy and wild he is with his vocals. He's coming out of Atlanta and he drops tons of projects on the regular. So you know what? You already know how you feel about Young Thug. If you're a big fan of him, you're going to get more of the same here. If you're not a big fan of him, yeah, same thing. You're going to get more of the same here. He's still coming through with those screechy, wailing vocals. He is dropping some humorous lines on here. I've heard on multiple occasions him saying that he's putting his kids on a bitch's tits. That came up like three or four times on here. Another time he said he's putting a bitch on her back and beating it like Hercules. Uh, he wiped his dick off on Rolls Royce curtains. His bitch is clean as Pine Soul. There's just humorous shit all over this, so that's really one of the main things that sticks out as far as the rapping goes. But all these other features on here are pretty much useless, man. These guys are forgetting as fuck. They really just sound like the sons and daughters of Young Thug because they're a bunch of auto crooners who don't really bring anything new or interesting to the table. So this was not a project that I found to be that great, man. Young Thug has grown on me a bit in the past because when he first came out, I pretty much hated everything he did. But then I came to like some of his songs because he had some good flows, some nice melodies once in a while, and also some of those smooth melodic bangers. You actually are getting some of those smooth melodic bangers on here with songs like, as I look at my list here, Chanel Go Get It. I thought that one was pretty dope there's another one called change choking me great production really throughout most of this project to be honest i think the producers did their thing but the rapping singing auto crooning screeching wailing whatever the hell you want to call it gets very tedious even having these different artists on here doesn't break things up too much because they all sound very similar and that's the issue i have with auto crooners man i know some people use it in a unique way and they can craft a unique sound and do something a bit different whether it's with their voice or the way they use beats and switch ups and da 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 but these guys and girls are really not doing anything great with it man this tape was is not something I enjoyed, other than some of the humorous bars from Thug and some of the beats. That's really about all I got to say on this one. I'm not going to pretend I'm going to go in depth here because I'm looking at my notes and really there was just very little I took away from this project. I would go with a 2 out of 5, but overall, man, this isn't a tape to write home about. Nothing overly interesting happening, so, you know, 2 out of 5 feels fair to me. But that's just what I got to say about this one. Nice and quick, wrapping it up. You guys can let me know in the comment section what you think. If you like it, let me know. Maybe you like some of these features on here. Maybe there's some songs or albums or tapes I should hear from them before I fully form my opinion. But what I heard from these people on here wasn't that great. So, you know, I'm just going off of that. Anyway, let me know what you think. Show me love. Show me lots of it all over my social media. You know how it goes. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.